right, welcome to the wonderful world of trombone playing. Uh, first things first, this by far is the instrument of the three that we're looking at that's going to be the most different from trumpet, um, but honestly, it's one of the few instruments in the world that can be played perfectly in tune. It has so much personality and it is so much fun to play. I love playing trombone. So first things first, let's talk about the different parts of the trombone because it's so different than the other instruments. So bell is the same. We know what that is. That's the part where the sound comes out. Mouthpiece, similar, right here. Bigger than a trumpet mouthpiece, but similar size. Goes in just like a trumpet mouthpiece does, just a little quarter turn, still no banging on it like your friends do to make that cool sound. Don't jam on it, don't do anything crazy. Uh, the tuning slide is back here, uh, and hopefully yours moves. <laughs> if you have a school instrument, hopefully it does. Uh, and then these are the two parts. Now, when it comes in its case, it's going to come in three parts separately. It'll have the mouthpiece, and then the bell, and then the slide. That's what we call this part. So all that you do is there's a part, there's one part that has um, little threads for a screw and the other side does not. The side that does not is the side where the mouthpiece goes in. Side with threads goes on your left. I'm going to do it backwards so it's for you. Goes on your left and then you're going to put the bell of the trombone in and then you'll have a little part that moves over here and you're just going to screw that down righty tighty lefty loosey so that it's at a right angle like the side of a square, right corner of a square. That's what we want is a right angle. Oop, mine was not a right angle when I showed it to you. There we go. Right angle is what we want. And then, uh, always, by the way, number one thing, trombone, always make sure the slide lock is on. That's this little guy that moves. When the slide lock is off, then the slide is free to move. And the really tricky thing with slides is once this slide falls and hits the ground, if it gets dented, it's very expensive, if not impossible, to fix that depending on how it falls. So please, please, please always, always have your slide lock on unless you're playing. And then even when it's on, I still keep my hands on the slide at all times just in case. So we have a slide, slide lock. This is where the instrument goes together. Here's where the mouthpiece goes. I'll go ahead and put that in right now. Then, how you're going to hold it, you're going to take your left thumb, I can't mirror this one for you, so this my left is over here, your left is over there. Take your left thumb and hook it right here behind this part of the instrument attached to the bell, and then take two fingers and attach those right there, not to the slide itself, Don't re I mean my fingers don't even reach that far, but this one, the one that doesn't move, that's where those are going to go, and then the part that touches the slide, this is very important, is thumb and two fingers, no more. If you get your whole hand attached to the slide, it's just gonna make it a really like muscly operation and it just shouldn't be. If your slide, this slide is a little bit rough, but if I still can move it really comfortably with just my thumb and two fingers, you should not need your whole hand to move this slide and you sh just don't do it. Um, so make sure that you're only using thumb and two fingers to hold your slide. So again, thumb goes back here. These first two fingers, index and middle finger, wrap around this part. Your other two fingers are just going to hang out over here. And then thumb and fingers one and two go over here, and then the other fingers just hang out. Okay? So that is going to be your setup for how to hold the trombone. It's going to go on your left shoulder right here. And you want to make sure, always and forever, for every instrument, you do not go to the instrument you set up your posture really beautifully and then the instrument comes to you. Those are the rules, right? And we want the mouthpiece to be coming fairly directly onto your mouth. You can be going down just a little bit to make sure that you can play underneath your slide or underneath your music stand, but for the most part it should be right here, okay? So let's talk a little bit about the mouthpiece. I want you to put it up to your face and I want you to take your index finger of your left hand and find where your lip line is and match those two up. And then I want you to look and see where the middle of your lips is hitting the mouthpiece. It should be the middle of your lips hitting the middle of the mouthpiece. Just like that. It should be about what you did for trumpet if your trumpet amateur was good. 
like this, okay? So the word that I want you to use to help set your trimonometer is going to be the word salam. It's the way that you say hello in uh, Arabic. So I want you to say salam. Go ahead and say it. Actually say it at home. Salam. Good. So we want a nice relaxed ah shape in the back of your throat. We don't want an o oh, that's going to cause too much tension. We just want ah, nice and relaxed. That's good. And uh, we're going to have just a slight M just to have the lips closed, but we don't want any tension there. So the way that we describe the corners of the mouth for the trombone embouchure is we want it to be like a firm handshake. You know how you've shaken someone's hand before and sometimes it's just like, it's like a sock in a cup or like a dead fish. It's the worst, just like the most wimpy handshake ever. Not going to cut it. We also don't want someone who's like really trying to make a good impression and squeezes your hand really, really hard. Or like when your friend is pulling a prank on you. We don't want that either. That's way, way, way too tight. So we want just a nice, firm, set, confident, I know what I'm doing. That kind of a lip set, that kind of a handshake with your embouchure is what we're looking for. Okay, so take your mouthpiece off if you haven't already. Say the word salam, and then place your mouthpiece right there. So try that, salam, and then check it, still in the middle, good. So now we're going to try and make a buzz, and remember the buzz is going to be a lot more relaxed than trumpet. Trumpet is a tiny little mouthpiece, which means it's a very high-pitched buzz, it's a lot more firm of an embouchure. We're just going to relax everything, that's all we want, relax, 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 okay? So. Salam, and then I want you to buzz. And I want the buzz rather than which would be more of a trumpet buzz, I want more like this. Now nah, that's tuba. Let's find somewhere in the middle. More like that. So salam. So you could try it like that or try it right on your mouthpiece. Salam. And get your buzz going. So try that a couple more times. Salam. Salam. Good. Now go ahead and put it back on the instrument. Remember to go thumb one and two. Thumb one and two. That's where those go. Other fingers are hanging out. I'm going to take my slide lock off now that I'm playing. I'm going to say salam. And see what note comes out. For me, it was home bass. It was low concert B flat. For you, it might have been the higher partial, which is concert F. Either way is fine. I want you to see if you can get the other one, whichever one you got first. See if you can get both. First, start on the low one, and then see if you can go to the high one. Just by bringing your jaw up just a little bit. And by not firming up here, that's not what we want. Then you're going to get crazy high notes. And we just don't want that. It's not good tone qualities. <sighs> Relax, man. It's a trombone. We ought to be a lot more relaxed about the playing now. So I want you to now try and go back and forth between B flat and F without using your tongue. Just use your lips and your jaw and see if you can go between those two like this. <laughs> Now go the other way. So you start on the high note and see if you can drop down. Very nice. Now let's talk about slide positions. Do you remember initially when we talked in the overtone series video about valve combinations and how we went down chromatically? I'm not going to play on trumpet because it's going to tighten up my beautiful relaxed trombone embouchure, but how we went um, concert B flat, down a half step, uh, da, 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 da. remember that? So that is going to be the exact same thing for trombone, except instead of having to remember this, like which combination comes next, we're just going to move down one position. So we're going to start on home base, concert B flat, which is first position, which is your slide all the way in, your slide lock can be on even, and that's first position, home base. So that is where we're going to start. I'm going to take my slide lock off so I can show you second position. It's really quite close to first position. It's not very far. It's just about eh, maybe an inch. So I'll play first and then second and I'll go back and forth. So 
that's what that sounds like. Then I'm going to go out to third position. So I'm going to go first, second, third is just this side of the bell. You don't ever want to grab your bell. You might see your friends in the trombone section doing that. They don't know what they're doing. So keep your hands on the slide at all times. And we're going to go first, second, third. This is again just down by half steps with every position. Just like that. So now we're going to go down to fourth position which is just in front of the bell. Again, third and fourth are not that far from each other. So I'll go down, starting on home base, moving down, first, second, third, and then fourth. Oh, let's try again. Now we're gonna go out to fifth position, one more half step down. So here's one, two, three, four, five. to go out to sixth. Sixth is pretty darn far. For me, being about five foot six, that's about as far as my arm comfortably goes is sixth position. If you're a little shorter than me, it might be a real stretch for you to get to sixth. And a relaxed, relaxed embouchure. Really, really relaxed. Then seventh position is further than what's comfortable for me. The good news is you almost never have to play it in trombone. So let's hear low, low, low seventh position. It's just like one, two, and three for um, trumpet. How often do you play all three valves down at the same time? It's like one note. That's the normal combination, right? So it's not very often. So seventh position is like almost as far as you can reach and then some, unless you're really, really tall. Don't take the instrument all the way off the slide. That's not good for it either. I mean, it'll go back on, but you especially don't want to drop it. You can really dent it and it's expensive. So I'm going to go all the way out to seventh position. Here we go. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Just like that. That's going to relate to home base, second valve, first valve, one and two, two and three, one and three, one, two and three. That's how those are going to relate to each other. So that was going to be the easiest way for you to learn those positions. So it's really important for you to practice with muscle memory. Go ahead and look at the chart that's on our website. And I want you to practice finding each of those positions um, and remember where they are and have your brothers, sisters, parents, friends, have them quiz you. First position, fourth position, sixth position, second position, third, second, and just like go back and forth and make sure you really know where those are. So if you need to pause and take a minute to work on those, you certainly can. At this point, I want to teach you the first five notes of your concert B-flat scale so that you can start playing some songs on trombone. So we're going to start with home bass, concert B-flat, first position, nice and good embouchure and good posture. Then we're going to go to the next note in your scale. It's going to be a concert C. It's in sixth position. Again, about as far as I can comfortably reach. Then concert D, fourth position, just in front of the bell. Third position, just on this side of the bell. Then first position F, higher partial. We played this one before. Back down, third position, E flat. D, fourth position. C, sixth position. And back to home base. Very nice. So, those are the ones that I want you to work on. Um, the next exercise I want you to do is playing each of those notes four times, four quarter notes in a row, to get used to where those notes are going to be. So go ahead and do that at this time.
All right, the last song I'm gonna show you is the first real song that you're learning on trombone, and that's gonna be Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So you've already worked on the first five notes, B flat, C, D, E flat, F. The next note I'm gonna show you is G. It's also in fourth position and it's a higher partial. So here, I'm not sure which partials I just played. This is why I like home base. I'm gonna go back to home base, first position, low B flat. And I'm just gonna work my way up the B flat scale till I get to a high G. B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G. Now I know what I played. Fourth position G is going to be the other note that you use. So we're going to use those six notes for you to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Um, and I'll have you follow along on our website uh, or on this video. And then you can also download the music on our website and practice on your own. And you can go from there. <laughs> So, your biggest things for trombone are going to be practicing your bass clef, make sure you know what those note names are, and then I also want you to work on memorizing where your slide positions are, and then correlating those bass clef notes to those slide positions. It's a long road ahead of you, but I know you're going to do a great job. I'm so excited for you to get into the weird and wonderful world of trombone playing. The last thing I'm going to show you before we go is how to do a glissando. This is one of the trombone players' very favorite things, who am I kidding, is the favorite thing for trombone players to do. And that's when they get to make that crazy sound. You're going to start on F, so first position, but the higher partial. And you're just going to move your slide without stopping your air. Constant airflow and move the slide at the same time. It's going to sound like this. Do it again, because it's really fun. Right? You can do it from low B flat if you want to. Takes more air that way. But well, that's called a glissando. If you get that in your music, it'll be a little squiggle line that says gliss, and then you say, Yes, finally, and you get to celebrate. So have fun, happy studying, and happy practicing. Thanks so much.